here is my peace plan video for the Middle East. I have nothing to gain. This, this is a Christian Bible. This is a court Quran. Notice I've marked important spots in it. This is the Tanakh, which is the Jewish, the Hebrew Bible. It's in English. So I wasn't brought up in any specific way. That's a long story. But when I was 19, I somebody put a Bible in my hand and then I started studying. So for decades, I've been studying all three religions, right? Christianity, Judaism, Islam. And I found something wonderful and something so simple. They are all saying the same thing in different ways. Now, the Quran, it's like a repeat of uh, the New Testament and the Hebrew Bible, but in an Arabic poetic way. And of course, it started with Abraham. Now, Abraham, he's the father of both Jews and Arabs. And the most simple way to solve these problems is to think, think what you want. The Jews want to be in, in this meaningful place, uh, the land of Israel. By the way, the word Israel is just the new name that the Almighty gave to Jacob, Yaqub. They want to be there because it's meaningful. Their history is there. So let's think, Where where is the Arab history? Where? Let's go back to Abraham. Remember Hagar? She was given as a wife to Abraham. Some people say she wasn't his wife. Look it up. The Bible says she was given as a wife, a second wife. And remember back then, the first wife has the main, main opinion in any discussions. So it didn't work out. Two women in one kitchen. You can imagine. I don't even let guests do dishes in my kitchen. Okay. So she was sent away with food and water. And where did she go? Look it up in Genesis chapter 21. Where did she go? She was wandering in the wilderness of Beersheba. Did she stay there? No. She was on her way. Where did she end up? She ended up in Paran, P-A-R-A-N. Where is that? It's between the Salt Sea, which most people call the Dead Sea. It's between the Dead Sea and Elat, which is by the Gulf of Aqaba. So where, what meaning does the Gaza Strip have to the Palestinians? I mean, it's in this odd place. It has bad memories now. Why not give them their own little country right in Paran, the area, like I said, between the Dead Sea and Elat. The Dead Sea is a little north and Elat is, well, far south. Forget about Gaza Strip. The Israeli government, the Israeli people, make a home there, build places, build parks, make it nice and Put them there. Every time they try to go to another Arab country, they're not treated so normally. They're, they're put in these camps, you know, with like a tent city. They don't want that. Do you want that? You want something solid that's yours, that you could build a garden, that you could have a sheep, that you could have a dog. Send them there. Make them, make them a little country. Teach them. Teach them how to plant things. Teach them how to build. Now, whatever kind of um, investigation you have to do of, of any person that's going to live there, then you do that, you vet them. This, this is the only 
This is a great thing. Give them their own place. They're all not guilty. You have the, you're, you know, you have things in your mind that they, they did this, they did that, the crimes. There must be some innocent people there. Do you think that everyone there is a terrorist? No. Maybe they were forced to go along with certain things because of certain people that were living in the area and maybe their life would be in danger if they went against it. Okay? Do what I say. You know what happens to people who don't follow my advice? All my adult life, it ends up really bad for them. They, they usually, you know, get sicker and they're in dangerous situations and then, then they die and then I miss them. Somebody listen to me, finally. I have nothing to gain from this. I'm so upset from watching the news and listening to it on my phone, these horrible things, and I don't even know if they're all true. How can I know? You know what I've had to do these past few days to get my mind off it so I'm not, you know, teary-eyed all the time? I found this old uh, show, uh, TV show from Australia about teenage mermaids. Silly, right? But we, we can't be in misery all the time. You have to cheer yourself up. So it distracts me a while, but I always come back to this. I mean, uh, the newscasters must love it, you know, because everybody tunes in. So think about it. P-A-R-A-N, Paran. And look it up in Genesis 21. That's where Hagar went with her son Yishmael to settle. And don't think that she was some kind of outcast because scholars and rabbis have said throughout the ages that, you know, this wasn't a divorce. It's just he put his wives in different places and he went to visit Hagar and his son. And he even took part in deciding who Yishmael should marry. So do some studying. Don't complain, don't repeat what you hear on the news. Do some studying. You have the books. Start with this one or, or this one or this one. And remember, I have a lot more books over there, but I can't bring them all here. They're heavy.